Uh, this video is going to go over how to use the uh, sniffer functionality in Packet Tracer. Uh, in my uh, history as a network and security administrator, I, I've found it most helpful to be able to look at packets. And one of the things about, about Packet Tracer I never really liked was that sometimes I want to look at the packets and sometimes I want students to look at packets so we can see what's going on. And this is an example of that. Uh, we're we're going to want to look at MAC addresses and frames in, uh, in our class sometimes. Uh, so in this case, we're trying to re replicate the thing we're doing in Packet Tracer, but we can't really see the traffic. So we are going to put a sniffer in so we can look at the traffic. So uh, first thing we need to do is find the sniffer. It's under uh, in devices uh, sniffer, and we'll drag a sniffer out there. If you look at the sniffer functionality, uh, there isn't much to it. We have, whether it's on or off, in which side has the incoming packets, and, and uh, obviously that implies this other side has the outgoing packets, and then some filters. We'll look at the filters later. So first we're gonna just put one sniffer in place, and we're gonna connect uh, to port zero from the inside. So we're gonna get rid of this link here, and we're in, then we're gonna connect from our switch to port zero. So port zero, it means it's going to look at the frames that are coming in port zero. And then we'll connect from port one to our router port. So now that that's in line, we'll make sure that, that it still works. Uh, I'd already verified things are working. So we'll, we'll ping again to make sure that uh, the traffic is still flowing with the ping. And this isn't uh, a triangle yet, so I probably should turn on port fast so that we didn't have to wait for that to... Uh, to finish the spanning tree nonsense. So it's not gonna work. Okay, there we go, she'll work now. All right, so now uh, we have functionality again. So now we can uh, see if our sniffer has caught any packets. So if we click on the sniffer and go to GUI, it shows you over here the packets it's seen. And in this case, it tells you, okay, DTP, CDP, STP, so we want to go down to we find ICMP, and there's some ICMP. So if we click on that uh, packet, we can now look at it in, in, uh, in the sniffer. So in this case, what we're looking at for the particular assignment I'm making this video for for my class is we want to look at the MAC addresses. So here's the Ethernet frame, and here's the destination MAC address, and here's the source MAC address. So the source MAC address should match what the PC has. I don't even know if we find a MAC address over here. Yeah, no. Never actually looked for the MAC address. Uh, there we go. Uh, blah, 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 66994A. 66994A. 66994A is the last part. So that source is from the PC, and it should match the MAC address of the interface FA0. FA00 on the router, because that's the interface we're connected to. So this we have 8D0501, 8D0501. So in that case, uh, hopefully we know from our, our uh, learning that if we are sending traffic uh, off of our subnet, the source MAC address is going to be the PC, and the destination MAC address is going to be our, our routing device. So that shows us the traffic going out. We only see the packets going out because the sniffer only shows one-way traffic. So if we want to see the traffic coming back, we need to put another sniffer in. So we'll do that kind of quickly, uh, just so you can see how you do it if you want to. We'll drag another sniffer up here. We'll break this link. We'll connect it again. This time we're going to connect zero on the router side. So it will be looking at the traffic coming from the router. And then between these sniffers, we actually need to cross over. So now um, I have triangles on everything. So I guess my links are up. I'll go ping again to make sure it's working. And so we can capture some, tra capture some traffic. So now it's still working. So now if I go look at this sniffer, I will see that I have some ICMP traffic. And then if I make it bigger, I can look, oh hey, the destination address is blah 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 B66994A, which was my PC, and the source address was C oh, 8D501, which was my, my, uh, my router. So in this case, we're just looking at the frames to verify indeed that anything we're sending from this PC off of our network goes to the router. 
So one other thing that might be helpful about sniffers, a couple, a couple other things. Once you get a bunch of packets in there, like all this stuff, and you're like, ah, oh, I can't find what I'm looking for. You can hit clear, and that'll make them go away. So then if you send traffic again, and you go back, now you, you have less stuff in there, right? And you can find what you're looking for more easily. Another thing you can do is you can edit the filters. If you want to, if by default, it's showing you everything it can. So if you want to get rid of all these, you could click on all of them, or if you hit show all or show none, it unchecks them all for you, or it checks them all for you. So what we probably would want to do would be to uncheck them all, go to IPv4, click on ICMP, clear it, and now we see that that STP traffic's not coming anymore. So now if we send ICMP traffic, hey, check that out. We can see what happens in the sniffer. Now we just see our ICMP traffic. So. Uh, that's how you can use a sniffer in a packet tracer to look at some basic uh, things in the uh, in the Ethernet frame, in the IP header, and the uh, in the actual protocol. So I uh, hope you find that helpful.